time now, 6.53. Let's take a look at the stories we're following as you head out the door. We start this morning with Way 31's Rodnia Ross. The Marshall County school system is now having a fence put up around Brindley Mountain Primary School. This is to help keep people from loitering looting, excuse me, and trespassing on the damaged school grounds. We talked to the fencing company who told us they plan to have the fence completely installed by Friday. In addition to the fence installation, electrical crews are installing new power lines and are working to restore power to the school. Casey. This morning, the city of Decatur and Decatur Utilities are working together to prevent sewage overflows. This month, there were 15 overflows throughout the city, and now the officials are meeting to update their five-year plan to prevent any more overflows from happening. Marie. This morning, floodwaters in the shoals have receded, but water still covers parts of the roadways in Calvert County. Crews with Calvert County Road Department have been pumping water out for two days now. The levels have gone down about a foot for those who live along Cassie Davis Street. The county getting a drainage study done in the area to determine how to stop it from flooding so frequently. This morning, families in Decatur are eagerly awaiting results from 3M's investigation at a former landfill. A week from now, a firm hired by 3M will drill samples at the former Brookhaven landfill. Right now, it's home to the Aquadome Recreation Center and was previously a Decatur Middle School. This morning, 11 people facing charges now after deputies say 25 pounds of marijuana, guns, and more drugs were found inside a Powell area home. This is what the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office Narcotics Unit found Monday. They discovered the drugs while searching the home on County Road 577. Marijuana, spice, meth, prescription pills, and two firearms were seized. Madison County Schools want to remind drivers that they will be shutting down part of a road in a connection with road crews starting Saturday. It's in order to finish a multi-million dollar project at Sparkman High School. Ford Chapel Road will be closed for eight weeks starting Saturday. The project will add a new fine arts center and a sky bridge. It will keep students from crossing the road. The sky bridge, uh, the facility there will be completed later this fall. Carson.